Howdy. We're going to try this a little bit different now because if the if the weather or anything's nasty outside and I want to do a you know news report, catch you guys up on something, I want to have a way to do it. Uh, and I figured this is kind of cool. Um, so I have a lot of options, a lot of tools. This is something called a flip side. And, and of course, I use my VR headset to be able to do it. Anywho, I wanted to kind of catch you up to speed on some stuff with China. So, first of all, as you've probably heard a million times already, China's been buying up a bunch of land in the United States. They've been buying up everything from residential land to commercial properties, and they're also buying up farmland. Now, the concerning part about buying up the farmland it's because they're specifically doing it near military bases. And you might think, okay, so they're going to take over the farming industry. Uh, they're going to feed the military members. No, I don't think that's how, how this is going to shape out. However, uh, a lot of people might think, well, it's not like they're going to be able to sneak a nuke in. And I would agree. It would be extremely hard to sneak a nuclear device into this country, especially, especially if you happen to be somebody of Chinese origin buying up farmland. I'm sure they're going to be watching that a little bit. But you know what they're not going to be watching? They're not going to be watching for simple electronics. And what my concern is, what they could very likely be doing is actually using directed energy weapons, dues of course, uh, the form of uh, EMP dues, and they could take out the entire military base in one shot, right? Wouldn't be hard to do. Wouldn't be hard for them to be able to get the uh, the equipment over here. So that's kind of my concern with this. China is getting very, very bold in their actions, and I don't think it's very long. I think it's it's a very short matter of time. Uh, before we see a, a conflict arise there. We've got conflicts coming from all over the place. It is absolutely unbelievable. And we've got conflicts that looks like it's going to break out in the Koreas. We've got conflicts that it looks like is, uh, hopefully you guys can't hear that. Of course, I start recording a video and somebody's calling me on the headset. So, sorry if you can hear it. Please try to ignore it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know this stuff enough to be able to, to quit the call. I quit now, but eh, it is what it is. So anyway, um, where were we? I've got the Koreas acting up. Of course, you know, Russia and, and Ukraine, of course, Israel, and now Hezbollah. And that is probably really going to explode. Uh, but I am keeping a very close eye on what's going on with China right now especially over by the Philippines. So, as you see behind me, I know my arm just kind of did this weird thing. As you see behind me uh, is an article from War News 24-7, and of course, I will link you to this article. And I'm going to read the first section of the article. It's rather lengthy, so I'm just going to read the first section of it to you, uh, and then I'll continue to talk. I'll let it slowly scroll uh, behind me. So anyway, U.S. has unexpectedly deployed the Typhoon missile system in northern Luzon in the Philippines following violent naval incidents between China and the Philippine Navy. Let me uh, find my little thingy there to play. The U.S. Secretary of State, and I missed it, the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State emphasized that the Mutual Defense Treaty obliges the U.S. to help the Philippines sending a very... I mean, I was going to try to slow it down. Hang on. Uh, a very clear message to Beijing. The level of aggression shown by the Chinese this time has alarmed all the neighboring states. So, and it goes on. This is, this is absolutely nuts here. A clash between members of the Chinese Coast Guard and members of the Philippine Navy occurred on Monday during the resupply mission for Philippine soldiers stationed on the sunken BRP Sierra Madre military ship in 2nd Thomas Atoll. In the videos that is on the uh, website, you can see the Chinese Coast Guard's use of force and intimidation tactics destroyed Philippine vessels and seriously injured Philippine Navy personnel. 
The Philippine Navy released photos showing Chinese Coast Guard personnel wielding knives, swords, spears, axes, and other sharp implements, threatening to injure Philippine troops during the supply mission. It seems that China wants to establish a code of fighting similar to that on the border with India, where there is an agreement not to use firearms, but only bladed weapons. Sounds like a bunch of fun, doesn't it? Shocking new details and videos show that during China's brutal attack on the Philippines, Chinese Coast Guard deployed tear gas in an act of piracy, Chinese personnel looted supplies, and towed Philippine vessels with ropes. The Chinese ships came within five meters of the Philippine outpost. The Chinese personnel were armed with knives and axes. They reportedly used these weapons to rip apart parcels carrying food and medicine supplies, throwing the contents into the sea in an attempt to prevent resupply. Kind of had their own little tea party there, little changes. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, again, I'll, I'll let it continue to scroll behind me here, but this is uh, this is a clear escalation, and it is uh, it is not a good escalation. It's time we really focus on making sure that we are ready. And I'm not saying this in a fear mongering way. I'm not saying, you know, I'm. That's why I really um, hesitate to come on and and even do a news report like this because. You've got a billion and one channels out there fear-mongering the hell out of everything. And I don't want to do that. I don't even want to come close to doing that. I just, you know, folks need to know what's going on. Folks need to be prepared for what is coming. Undoubtedly, undoubtedly things are going to be happening uh, at an alarming rate. Now, I want to remind everybody... And, and please, tuck this in the back of your head. Not quite where my arm just went. Ah, oh, get it back there, oh, back there. Maybe not back there, back that far. But I, I just want to, um, I want to urge folks to, uh, to pay close attention, to do whatever you need to do. And I want you to remember that I really do think that this is all a stage. I think that this is, this is a ruse. I think that if there are two nations uh, on earth that aren't a part of this, or I should say two larger nations, even though they're not, um, but there's a lot of smaller nations is what I'm getting at. North Korea and Iran, I believe, are probably the only two nations I feel comfortable saying is not part of this big old grand scheme. I think absolutely China is, I think Russia is, and of course Israel I think there are a lot of nations, most of the nations, that are involved in some larger grand scheme. I think the deal with North Korea and Iran is they figure that if they can get them embattled in, in, in some huge wars and stuff, I think that they feel like they can possibly have, have uh, some, some effect on making them join a system that they may not want to. So... I don't know, it's just my thoughts. Just keep an eye on this. Like I say, there's a whole lot of stuff that is uh, going on, and hopefully that didn't kill my recording when the uh, when the monitors kicked out. So we'll see. I don't know. I'm, uh, I'm learning all this stuff, and uh, fun times, fun times. But, uh, yeah, this thing's actually pretty cool. I've got... Uh, like I said, I've got a teleprompter right here. You can't see it because it's, you know, you can't see it. I'm actually in a green room. Everything around me is green. Um, you know, green screen green. <laughs> or I can have a news set behind me. I can do all kinds of stuff. And I can even make up my own custom sets. I'm, I'm working on my, my custom avatar right now. I've got a pretty cool avatar going on. Got the, the Watchman News logo on the chest of the shirt, even though my hand goes inside my shirt somehow. I don't know. That's cool. But there's a, there's a lot of neat little features that I can do with uh, with this program. So I'm just learning it. Today is the first time that I've really messed with trying to use it. Um, and most of that time has been spent trying to uh, make my own custom avatar. But uh, And this is not it. This is close to it, but this is not it. I want my own clothes. So anyway, 
that's all I've got for you. I'm going to keep an eye on this stuff. If I see anything come up, I will uh, most certainly, certainly um, pop on and, and make a video and let you guys know. So that's it. I hope you all are doing well. Hope you had a great weekend and uh, hope you have a good week. Shalom.